This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Computer Science 2, the Python version. I'm on level 24, Village Warden. Warder. Alright, goals. Stop all the ogres. Save all the peasants. Sounds good. The village is under attack by an even bigger horde of ogres. Oh no! Um, you'll need to use functions to attack and to cleave against this onslaught. Okay, and so we have this function. We're just starting functions, just starting to learn about them. So DEF space in Python, that means, hey, we're making a function. A function is a thing that generates a block of code that can be used. Well, it doesn't generate it. We do. But this code can be used over and over again now every time we say the function name. So find and attack enemy anytime in our program if we say that. It will then go, oh, okay, what am I supposed to do? Oh, find our function, find the nearest enemy, check if the enemy is actually there, and attack. It runs the code in the function. Let's start. Okay, so notice we have the function up here, find and attack enemy. So what happens when I ask it to run find and attack enemy? It creates this variable for enemy. Hero looks around. If my hero finds an enemy, that is the new name of the enemy, right? So the enemy's new name is enemy. Um, or if my hero finds nothing, enemy equals nothing. Then my if statement checks. Now does enemy equal something? If it does, I attack. If not, we hit the bottom of the function and the code's done running. All right, so define find and cleave enemy. So this is another function. Notice it is indented over. So this is all part of the function. So if enemy exists, well, I already told my hero to hero find the nearest enemy and make them enemy. I want you to understand, this does not have to be enemy. It's just a variable. So maybe I named the enemy Fred, all right? Uh, if Fred exists. So if my hero looks around and sees an enemy, my hero names that enemy Fred. If my hero looks around and sees no one, my hero still says makes Fred equal to nothing. And that's why I'm using an if. So if Fred equals an enemy, or did my hero look around and see no one? Because if it means sees no one, that is false, and it goes to the end of the if statement and skips the code inside. So if there's an enemy, now let's check if is hero uh, is ready. Yep, if cleave is ready. So now the code says, okay, if there if Fred, which means if there's an enemy, then it drops down and we're going to have another if statement. If cleave is ready, then it's time to cleave. Okay. And so now, oh, wow, there's a bunch of code on this one. Now we have this wall true. And that's because this is a function. So anytime I write find and cleave enemy, it's going to run all of the code inside of here. So now I'm going to go down here. Move to the other point. Uh, I never hit run. Where's, Okay. So I want to move over here, which is 6031Y. So hero XY 6031, find and cleave enemy, which is this function I made right here, find and cleave enemy. So I need to type in find and cleave enemy, okay, with empty parentheses. Now, notice I capitalized these letters, A, C, E, because it has to be exactly like this is. When programming, you can't have spaces in function or variable names. So what programmers do is they capitalize the first letter of each word after the first word, right? So that's how it's easier to read to know it's separate words. And then, so, now if, if Fred, if, I'm going to change this back to enemy to make this clearer. So we've, we're going to do this now. We are now going to find and, oh, yep, and attack enemy. And what that will run is this part of the code. It, the computer will find this. Okay, find the nearest enemy, set that equal to enemy. If enemy, hero, attack enemy. So first it says find and cleave enemy. So then it runs this. It says, okay. Find the nearest enemy, if the enemy exists, if cleave is ready. So it might say true, enemy exists, but nope, cleave isn't ready. Skips the end, and the function's over. Once the function's over, we then go down here to find and attack enemy, because our cleave wasn't ready. 
Okay, find the nearest enemy, enemy and attack them. So it's complicated, but this is a much easier way to run a bunch of code a lot. Because if we wanted to check for the enemy again now and cleave them, we could just write find and cleave enemy rather than writing all of this code several times. Let's hit, hit submit and see what happens. Oh, uh-oh. Did I not move? Find nearest enemy. Oops. That's what I get for changing up a variable. Oh, awesome. So this was the code that worked. Oh, there is a lot of it that worked for me. I didn't change much of this. I just added these elements, right? I checked for if enemy, if cleave is ready, hero cleave. And then most of my code, I added that, right? And then most of my code that I needed, though, was down here with the move, find and cleave, find and attack. Awesome, let's keep going. 